And we end today's show um, uh, where it began. The largest climate march in history took place on Sunday, one of the largest political gatherings ever here. We're going to end with one of the most memorable speeches at the U.N. Climate Summit that took place on Tuesday, with Kathy Jetno Kijiner from the Marshall Islands reading her poem in the United Nations. It was a letter that she had written to her child. Dear Mata Filipinum, you are a seven-month-old sunrise of gummy smiles. You are bald as an egg and bald as the Buddha. You are thighs that are thunder, shrieks that are lightning, so excited for bananas, hugs, and our morning walks along the lagoon. Dear Mata Filipinum, I want to tell you about that lagoon. That, lo that lazy, lounging lagoon, lounging against the sunrise. Men say that one day, that lagoon will devour you. They say it will gnaw at the shoreline, chew at the roots of your breadfruit trees, gulp down rows of sea walls, and crunch through your island's shattered bones. They say you, your daughter, and your granddaughter, too, will wander, rootless, with only a passport to call home. Dear Mata Filipinum, don't cry. Mommy promises you no one will come and devour you. No greedy whale of a company sharking through political seas. No backwater bullying of businesses with broken morals. No blindfolded bureaucracies gonna push this mother ocean over the edge. No one's drowning, baby. No one's moving. No one's losing their homeland. No one's becoming a climate change refugee. Or should I say, no one else. To the Carteret Islanders of Papua New Guinea and to the Taro Islanders of Fiji, I take this moment to apologize to you. We are drawing the line here because we, baby, are going to fight. Your mommy, daddy, boo boo, jima, your country, and your president too, we will all fight. And even though there are those hidden behind platinum titles who like to pretend that we don't exist, who like to pretend that the Marshall Islands, Tuvalu, Kiribati, Maldives, Typhoon Haiyan in the Philippines, floods of Algeria, Colombia, Pakistan, and all the hurricanes, earthquakes, and tidal waves didn't exist, still, there are those who see us, hands reaching out, fists raising up, banners unfurling, megaphones booming, and we are canoes blocking coast ships. We are the radiance of solar villages. We are the fresh, clean soil of the farmer's past. We are teenagers pet blooming petitions. We are families biking, recycling, reusing, engineers building, dreaming, designing, artists painting, dancing, writing, and we are spreading the word. And there are thousands out on the streets, marching hand in hand, chanting for change now. And they're marching for you, baby. They're marching for us, because we deserve to do more than just survive. You've been listening to Kathy Jetno Kajiner from the Marshall Islands. For the whole poem, go to democracynow.org.